David Henry Greenish Thumbs Wrigley, educator and traveling science show presenter for the Franklin Institute, coming to you today with a little do-it-yourself, kitchen-based, hashtag spark of science Franklin at home production. Seeds are incredible and all around us. We can thank seeds for much of the world as we know it. Drinking your coffee, chewing your bagel, styling in some cotton, treating yourself with a little chocolate. Thank you, seeds. Seeds give us foods and fuels, intoxicants, poisons, oils, dyes, fibers, and spices. There would be no bread, rice, beans, corn, or nuts without seeds. Seeds are one way that plants reproduce or make more of themselves, how they survive year after year. It's estimated that there are over 353,000 kinds of plants that use seeds to reproduce, which makes sense since scientists have shown that this process has been evolving for over 360 million years. Where can you find seeds, you ask? These embryonic plants ready to send roots and shoots. Maybe you'll find some on your butt. Come over here, boy. Are those seeds? Yup. Or out in the dirt. Falling from trees. Catch them with your hand as they travel on the breeze. Seeds come in all shapes and sizes. From microscopic orchid to heavy coconut surprises. The hardware store's got some seeds for purchase. Perhaps you find a few floating on the water surface. Let's plant some now with the profile purpose. 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 We'll make food to share, flowers to gift, improve the quality of the air, help your mood to shift. All you need is dirt and water and sun. Let's try it out together, it's lots of fun. Today, we are planting sunflower seeds. According to this package, these are fast-growing sunflowers with enormous gold-yellow blossoms and edible seeds. Hmm. Wow, this seed is going to get big. I've eaten sunflower seeds before, maybe you have too. They're a healthy snack. But did you know that those nutrients you're consuming are the same nutrients that this baby plant would have used to grow its first root, shoot, and leaves? I want you all to try planting some seeds at home. It's easy. Take your dirt, stick in the seed, and water it. Watering initiates germination, or the seed's journey from seed to seedling. First grows the root then the shoot, then transforming from the seed itself come the first leaves. But how can we demonstrate that the seed germinates because of watering? I did a little experiment, which you can try too, just exposing this seed to water. Now look, here I have some seeds that I put into this dish with a lid on. On the bottom was some paper. It could be paper towel or toilet paper, it doesn't matter, and I made it wet. And I let those seeds sit on there for just a couple days. Now. This is amazing. Out of that seed, we can see here, grew the root, shoot, and leaves. Now it's your turn. Maybe you and your family could start a little garden in your yard, or uh, on the stoop, or in your windowsill, or maybe it's just a little pot inside of your kitchen. Either way, I want you guys to try and share with the Franklin Institute your progress, your successes, your failures. I mean, it's all part of what it means to think and act like a scientist. From all of us at the Franklin Institute, well, I mean, from me in my kitchen to you and yours. Seeds, from <sighs> veggies and fruits. Try it. These embryonic plants ready have to fun. roots and shoots. Maybe you'll find some on your butt. Come over here, boy. Are those seeds? Yeah.